What's it like being an artist? Weird. In New York, even weirder. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, no, I, I didn't have any other plans. Uh, you know, my folks were always like, oh, you need to get another job. You need a career. And I said, but this is my career, you know. Um, no, I just stuck with it. I stuck with it through thick and thin. As long as you don't stop, who's to tell you you're wrong, right? The hands came out of uh, kind of a dark period when I was living in Atlanta. I just kind of developed an anger towards the city and its reluctance to admit that people of color live there and really the whole city wouldn't be there if it hadn't been for people of color. Really, I just kind of wanted to bring these hands to, to the forefront because I wanted to people, people to think about like the hands that built the city that you're in, that built where you are, where are those people, who are those people, and why are they continuously oppressed? You know, why are their descendants always oppressed, always the butt end of the joke, always, you know, a problem? And it was really kind of the, the, the end result of a lot of self-discovery as far as my own racial makeup. During this time, I had a lot of people ask me, like, what are you? Because people couldn't place me. And so I, I realized that, well, I'm a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, you know, coming of age, if you will. So I had to say something. I had to say something to, to, to address those things. And to me, it seemed like something visual and something as, as um, readily accessible as hands, you know, would, would kind of help bridge that message. I, t I tried kind of thinking towards an audience and I realized that that limits your work, limits the idea. Um, it's just out there. People will take what they will from it. A few folks have already seen what I was going for. But I, I really, uh, it's kind of an old school thought, but I really am all about letting the work speak for itself. You know, it is what it is. And, and that's the, the thing I love about street art is that it, it says what it says and that's it, man. And you can take it or leave it for what it is. You know, it's, it, you're driving by, bam, there it was, there it is, cool. You know, super easy and everybody can see it. What better audience than that? Some dude, was riding his bike down the street. He's like, hey, man, are those hands? I said, yeah. He's like, yeah, I figured they were. Cool. You know what I mean? And that, for me, is, like, so much more important. And really, honestly, so much more valid than, you know, some cat coming up to me in gallery and going, oh, I love your work. So I'll put it in the streets. Let everybody get to it. It's, it's the curse of art, you know? Things got to be either, like, super glorified or glammed out or expensive. And honestly, this is none of those. So, you know, if I reach one, two people, make them think, I've done my job. I'm happy, you know? You really can't ask for more than that.